Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub, a den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence, and Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Can I get some service around here? All right. Do it. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled, The Age of Murder and Storm. The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok, the end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. I'm a demon from outer space. There he is. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? That is so cheap. Yeah, this is way easier than the PS3 version. Try doing this at like 15 to 30 frames and consistently going back and forth. Set up red ammo. What's pink color? of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Edgy. I love it. What the fuck? What was that roll for? <laughs> I 
кажется. Вот. Ну, вот сэн. Run. Man, having to do this all in one life. Terrifying. Hated it. Yeah, because in the PS2 version, you couldn't save. It was all auto saves, and it just made the game hard. Some about really, really hard. What the fuck? <sighs> Didn't give me a second to react. I love it. I hate this part. I'm gonna hate this part so much. Old school gaming. Oh, almost fell. Oh 
Okay. There we go. I'm as a both. Really now? First sense of help I get. That's good. Karaoke never was my scene. There'll be a button or something. There we go. I think that might be it. All right. Hold it. Okay, there we go. There we go. God damn, there might be a secret back here for more pills. Eh, probably, but this one I really don't care. This one gets over with. <laughs> if I remember correctly, one of these planks breaks. It was that one. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. This was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Punchinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Lupino's notes covered the table. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood, a mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Chitulu, Lilith, Hela, blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. 
Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to write a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. God, I love the writing. The flesh of fallen angels come to me all. Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Chitulu, Lilith, Ella. Blood to you all. <laughs> Secret. Living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh. Oh, I'm the wolf, yeah! I am the wolf! It's close. It's coming. You have come. A witness to the end of time. It's now! I will rise to her side! I don't need the words! I'm beyond the words! Oh no. I don't like this amount of help I'm getting. See him. It's now. I will rise to her side. I don't need the words. I'm beyond the words. Oh god Like no cover. Let's just save here.
Did he just kill Fran? I don't think he did. He might have. I can have so much brain. Oh no, there's somebody up there. Oh god, there he is. I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of Catches. Lavino was pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin, the architecture of blood and bone arrow. Death is coming. She is coming. Follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> Oh boy. You'll die! You'll die! Now! All die! Oh. You dead? Nope, Jack's alive. Nice. That was easy. When Lupino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. 
In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Punchinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. Fun fact, they cut this um, this part from the Game Boy version due to limitations, I guess. Where to go, where to go? That's a dead end. I want to check over here. <laughs> found it. Should have known it when we found you snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian. Michelle looked at me from the photo. <laughs> the pain family, happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever, till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. I guess that's how you felt in the moment. I really love to watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. <laughs> no, that's dead end. Oh god. What's up? He falls into insanity. Oh, no! Ah! Got the, I have to restart from the whole segment again. Okay. God damn it. Alright, I'll get back there with the power of uh, video editing. Alright, we're back. 
straight, take a right, take that direction, oh, and jump. Ooh. I think I did this all in one life. That could have first played through it. Alright, there we go. Hope no more Steam notification from now on. Oh god. No! No! God damn you, Steam! over here nope I hear a baby now and a oh, thank oh god Almost. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so close. God damn it! I really love the watch cartoons. Uh, Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. I was so close. God damn it! <laughs> oh god! So close to death. Nice, made it. No, 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 please, God, no. I hate mercy, and everyone talks about. I'm talking about this game. Holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back, good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy, that cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Not like that ever happens in a real world. 